so today I'm going to introduce you to the aura wheel and to help uh, describe to you the difference between or some of the main features that are different with the aura than the other wheels and one of the things the main uh, feature is that the aura wheel is actually has a different sort of tension system so the previous wheels that we've looked at the Susie the Susie Pro the Rose and the little gem all work on scotch tension and so as your bobbin becomes heavier you will need to adjust your tension knob um, and the tension knob actually or the tension string goes across the groove in the bobbin with the scotch tension wheels now with the aura it is basically not quite an irish tension wheel it's what they call a modified double drive so the tension is actually operated through um, this black cord here which also goes down to the drive wheel um, you have two levels of tension that you can change to de depending on the thickness of your yarn and what it basically does is it provides you with take up and pull onto the bobbin the aura wheel and I've got the overdrive head on this particular aura the overdrive head just gives you lots of extra capacity um, and the standard head is actually very much the same but just on a um, smaller scale and these are the bobbins that we have on um, that particular standard head but the big thing about the aura is because it has been designed with art yarns in mind and let's just describe how a lot of art yarns are they are textured and as soon as you put texture into your yarns where some part of your yarn is thick and some then some part of your yarn is thin as your yarn travels from your hand onto the bobbin it's actually going to meet with resistance as it goes past various hooks and the various bends that it goes around to get onto the bobbin so when it's um, when we spun art yarns on a scotch tension wheel because our tension goes around our bobbin it's actually um, min it, it's it's diminished our take up of the yarn onto the bobbin and that sometimes we feel as if we're um, uh, uh, we're really working against the wheel and we have to almost hand wind our yarns onto the bobbin with the scotch tension and a very textured yarn but not so with the aura and that's why it comes into its own when you spin art yarns on it because of this um, take up the take up or the tension um, on your wheel is as strong um, or as efficient as it is from the start right to filling up the very top of the bobbin it and the treadling doesn't get any harder there are some wheels who have very huge bobbins but as you start to fill them up you feel as if you're pushing a truck um, because the treadling gets harder and harder because the weight of the bobbin is directly linked to the treadle so with the aura you will find that your treadling stays as light as it does when you're starting off with um, make it creating an art yarn to when you have filled your whole bobbin and even with the overdrive as well you still have um, the, the aura comes with um, whirls or pulleys that are quite large because they are they're, they're more useful when it comes to making art yarns it still has the true double drive um, that we've talked about previously uh, with the um, with the two footmen going down to each treadle and it um, comes with 
a really wonderful designed, let me just tighten this up, there we go, a wonderfully designed flyer which helps with the construction of art yarns. So it's what we call a pigtail fly. And you can see this um, pigtail sort of construction at the front here. And your yarn will go through that just behind. In fact, what I might do is just take this off so that you can, we can show it better to you. So here's the pigtail orifice. So and behind it, there's this little V delta. So if you are spinning finer yarns, you can actually catch your yarn in that V delta and it gives you that wonderful stability as your yarn is going onto the bobbin. It has very generous um, hooks here, basically for your yarn to travel through. And it comes with a, um, a metal, large hook and I just got one of the ceramic hooks on here which gives it a little bit more slip if you're uh, spinning textured yarns. The good thing about this particular system is that you can take your yarn on and off very easily and take the bobbin off and easily unwind it from either the pigtail orifice and or these hooks here. And you can slide, of course, your hook off um, the flyer arm here and have it with your, with your bobbin of yarn. And so you can be spinning several different types of yarns at the same time. Now, the Aura you can't you don't have to just spin art yarns on the aura there are lots of people who are spinning traditional yarns on the aura as well and people who's trying to now purchase a wheel that will do everything and yes the aura you can do anything on the aura but you do have to make some modifications to it in order to make it easier to achieve what you want. So if you wanted to spin traditional yarns on it, you would possibly put some smaller pulleys on the back here so that you would get a faster um, turn on your flyer and therefore more twist per treadle. Um, you can um, spin lace on an aura. You would drop the tension completely down you might even lower the head a little bit to make sure that your tension was very minimal to spin lace. And so you, you can make, you can spin all these different yarns on an aura, but there are certain adjustments that you will need to make. If you have the confidence, and of course, you know, as a dealer, I would explain all those different things that you would do and Marjorie Craft have made some wonderful, or Susie Brown has made some wonderful videos on the aura. And if you have the confidence and that ability to want to learn how to make these changes in order to spin a wide variety of different yarns, then the aura could possibly be for you. And if you have a leaning towards textured and art yarns, you know, these wonderful um, wall hangings now and big chunky throw rugs and even the big thick yarns that a lot of people are making for these wonderful chunky jumpers now. The Aura is so suited to those types of yarns. If, however, you are a more traditional spinner and once in a while you dabble with some art yarns or some textured yarns, then I would suggest that the Aura is not the wheel for you. Um, that there would be a lot of the functions of the Aura that you wouldn't use and that you would be best suited with a Rose or a Susie or a Susie Pro. So lots to think about and I'm very happy to have discussions about any of um, these options with the wheels. Um, which one is my wheel of choice? 
well for those of you who know me you realize I'm a, I tend to be an art yarn spinner so um, I've been known for my art yarns and so the aura is my wheel of choice um, very seldom parted from my aura wheel so I hope that that's answered some of your questions I'm only a phone call away or an email away and please feel free to contact me thank you